Hey. All right, so what is up you guys and welcome to my channel for those of you who are new. Today I'm giving y'all a little bit of different content. Yes, we got some beauty forever hair and I'm gonna show y'all how I customized my first ever wig. I'm not gonna lie, this video is kinda old. I made this for my birthday back in September and it just never went up. But I'ma show y'all, it was a little bit of struggle city but we gonna keep it moving. So I'm grabbing my bleach, as you can see, this is a BW2. And I'm taking some 30 volume developer. I got all of these from Amazon. I'll try and see if I can link them down below for you guys so that you can get them yourself. And I'm mixing it to make kind of like a paste type consistency, not too thick, not too thin, but just right. And as you guys can see, it's like a little frothy, like a foam, like a whipped cream maybe, but like a little bit thicker. And here I have this wig. So there was something weird about this wig. I didn't show it in the video cause I had already taken it off, but it was like this mesh type stuff that was on the lace and it was really weird. So I just went ahead and pulled that off. It was super simple. So if you get a wig like that, just try and pull it off and it came off super easy. And I'm just taking this bleach mixture and I'm holding the lace with like the tiniest bit of pressure, not too tight so that I know if I'm pressing too hard while applying the bleach onto the knots. So if you don't know, this is a process called bleaching the knots and it makes the roots of the hair look a lot more natural when you put the wig on so that you can get the most natural but effortless look. You feel me? So here you can see, I just covered the whole thing. I didn't cover the front because obviously that's gonna get cut off, but you get the gist. So this is gonna sit for a few minutes. After that, I just went ahead and rinsed it out and washed the hair. This is what the hair looked like wet. It's actually really beautiful. I will link the hair down in the description as well so that you guys can get your hands on it. Cause I actually just wore this wig recently. You guys will see videos with me wearing it in the future but I love this wig like I love this hair and now I'm about to start blow drying it as you guys can see so it took me a very long time but I got it done so here it is this is what it looks like dry freshly washed and here I'm gonna start getting ready to start and part the hair so I already made sure that it was completely detangled and I'm terrible at parting if you know anything about me, I suck at parting, even my own natural hair. Like, I still to this day will ask my mom to part my hair for me because I'm that bad at it. Like, it's kind of sad. But it took me forever to part this wig. I was trying to get a middle part. And so that's what you're gonna see for a minute, just me trying to part this hair. <laughs> Alright, so once I decided that doing it in that position just wasn't working for me, I decided to sit down because first my back was hurting and second, I was going to use my knee to make it seem like the wig was on a head and maybe that would help me get it straighter, but um, it didn't really work. It still took me a long time to get this hair parted and when I tell you a long time, I mean it literally took me like an hour to get an even remotely straight part. Please don't look at my feet, my toes, okay? They was done, but like, I'm just weird about my feet. So please don't mind that. But anyways, I'm still parting this hair, but I decided to take a break from that. What? I said, oh my gosh. I decided to take a break from that and start getting ready to pluck it. So I'm pulling the hair back kind of how I want it to lay on the head and on my head and so as you guys can see I'm just combing it back trying to get the hair to pull back and a trick that I actually learned is to grab a spray bottle as you guys can see and just spray the hair just a little bit don't get it like dripping wet but just a little bit to where the flyaways and everything stick down and like it makes it a lot easier to see what you're doing and like to keep the part clean without putting product into it as you guys can see already it's actually laying a lot better and it makes it a lot easier to manipulate the hair so that's what i'm doing and now i'm starting to take my tweezers these are literally like dollar store tweezers i got them years ago and i'm just going at the root and just pulling out a few hairs i'm not gonna lie i do not have like a specific technique 
I was just going in and doing what I've seen in videos, just pulling fast and upwards, making sure that I take breaks and actually evaluate it over time so that I know that I'm not doing too much. And you know, this is a, a definitely a tedious process. And even I think I may have rushed it a bit, which is why you'll see it probably wasn't the best customization process, but I did do my best. And for my first wig customizing it, I think I did pretty good. So give me my props, baby, give me my props. So I'm actually parting out a little section on the side, as you guys can see, and I'll show you on the other side so that you can see it a lot better too, but I'm just gonna go ahead and explain what I'm doing. So as you guys can see, I'm just parting out a little section and going by little layers, taking my time parting and plucking each layer so that the hair will lie a lot flatter if I wanna like pull it back a bit or just in general so that it doesn't look so full. Cause a lot of these units will come with a lot of hair, especially in the front to where it just doesn't look natural at all. And the purpose of a wig isn't to look wiggy, it's to look natural, the most natural as you can get it. Cause even though we may know it's a wig, like it's supposed to be cute. So that's what I'm doing here. Just taking my time going layer by layer and plucking each section. In here, I'm starting to kind of figure out where I want my baby hairs to be. So I'm pulling out little sections also and going about it that way, as you guys can see. And it's about in the position where I want my baby hairs to lay. So right now I'm just gonna go into that little section and pluck it as well, as you guys can see. And I will say here, I did not pluck the baby hairs as much as I should it does make a difference like actually seeing it on because right there it looked like it was fine but once i got it on i was like these are still way too thick so i had to pluck it a lot more but this is definitely a learning process take your time i really thought i was going to do a lot better on my first wig but i think i still did decent but i could have done better like i've definitely seen better and yeah, also this wig wasn't like a complete closure, un closure unit. Um, you guys know a closure and a frontal are completely different. A frontal has the lace all the way across the front and a closure has just a little bit of lace like where the parting would be. As you guys can see on the sides, you can see like a little bit of tracks and that's because I actually grabbed a different type of unit and they're actually, this is around when the lace shortage started to happen. And so they weren't really making wigs and like closure units or anything as like they normally would have. So that's also why this wig looked a little different, but don't mind that it was very easy to cover up and it didn't really affect the process at all. All right, so here's what my wig is looking like after the first initial customization process. And I think it actually looks pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Like, it looks decent. Like, for my first wig, y'all, give me my credit, okay? I actually kinda killed it. This is how much hair I collected. I don't know why I really showed it of how much I collected after plucking. But here's what the wig is looking like. I know I look crazy, but I'll catch y'all in part two tomorrow so y'all can see what it looks like on, okay? Let's go install process. Ah.